everyone, Quickle Pickle here, and today I am doing a history video, but it is not on Egypt or its gods, rather on a very well-known object, and the history of that object. Today's video is on the history of the pencil. Now with that said, let's get started. The first ever thing like a pencil was the Roman stylus. This was a long, thin metal rod made of the metal lead that the educated people of Rome could use to make faint but still readable marks. In 1564, a large deposit of a new type of carbon was discovered in Barrowdale, England. This new material made an even darker mark on paper. It was named graphite. But graphite is brittle, and when used as a stylus, broke after writing just a small amount. This newly discovered material was only useful when in a holder, and wood was perfect for this. This new object became known as the pencil. In 1662, in Nuremberg, Germany, some companies began starting to mass-produce the pencil. In the 1800s, during the Industrial Revolution, the pencil industry was flourishing. The United States depended on pe the pencils coming overseas, however, that all changed when the War of 1812 began. Cabinet maker William Monroe was credited with making the first wooden pencils in the United States of America. When the company that was now Dixon Ticonderoga and other companies started making pencils, pencils began to really become popular. By the 1890s, Pencils got their iconic yellow casing, and the name of the company which made it was engraved. The yellow casing was because the best pencil graphite in the world came from China. Pencil makers wanted a way to show that the lead in the pencils was from China. Yellow was associated with regalness, so yellow became the indication for Chinese lead. However, now almost all pencils in the world have a yellow casing, whether Chinese lead or not. Thanks for watching. Please like this video because it will really help out. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because, as you can see, we're almost to 50 subscribers. I think at the moment of recording this, it's 44. So if we can get to 50 subscribers soon, that would be great. I'm going to be really excited. And the 50 subscriber special will come out, which will be a really good video, hopefully. If you click the video on the right, you'll find a video that YouTube thinks is perfect for you and still on my channel. If you click the video on the left, then it will be a video that was most recent as of the time of you watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time on Quickle Pickle. Goodbye!